our next segment, our next topic is making the plan at different stages in your life. It's like a hypothetical situation. And um, the first one is um, we're thinking about is if you can make a prototype teenager that's like graduating high school, that's trying to make that next step in his career, in his career track, what do you, uh, what plan do you make for him to choose out so he can try to get to that success efficiently with, um, by the time he was, you think about 25, when they get done with school and stuff like that? Absolutely. You can say Be in your career? Yep. 25, 24. Yeah. yeah. A lot of, yeah, like we're talking about, you can't so be John, a major. So like John at 18 when he graduated high school, like if he could go back, what would you, what path would you take now from hindsight? Ooh. What path would you take? You know, like I said, that's hard to say, you know what I mean? But once you live life, you kind of experience things and yeah. everybody's got this hindsight 2020 thing. Um, but and everybody wants you to be like this like prototypical student, like you go to school, you make good grades and stuff like that. And how does that trans, uh, translate to a career and things like that? You know, going to college and stuff like that. Uh, picking your majors. I think I would have been more... Uh, you know, first of all, first of all, I would have went to the NFL. You know what I mean? I would have been the biggest, strongest, and fastest. And I would have took the best nutrition. I would have, you know, did all this stuff. And then all this hindsight. Um, but like I said, I would have really wanted to focus more in school um, and just get the – I wouldn't have took, like, advanced placement or anything like that because I'm just not – I was not, like, the best student uh, anyway. But I think I would have went right, right along into, um, you know, maybe – a computer field or something else I would want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really hard for me to say, you know what I mean? Because I don't really have the type of mentality to to look to look back, you know what I mean? I would mm -hmm. just say try my best, you know, and follow your dreams. That's what people always tell, uh, you know, children to do. Uh, but I think I would have definitely um, just been a little bit more focused. I don't really necessarily have a game plan for yeah. me or myself, yeah. uh, like I say. So, so what's, what's exciting is, is, you know, the goal that I have, I wish I would have known. Everybody said this, right? If I would have known where that road was going to go down, like right. then, oh man, it'd be over. So if I can make a prototype teenage high school graduate, right, that is making the next step, trying to figure out, you know, hey, the career track to choose. Oh yeah, um, you're talking about really starting at in elementary, right? All right, and, and I'm saying this to you so that you understand. Hey, right. parents out there. Um, hey, students that are out there, the experiences and exposures <clears throat> that you right. have right. and that you gain, all right? Positive experiences, positive exposures. Some people say, hey, uh, uh, negative, you know, hey, experiences and exposures, you know, hey, to each his own, right? But those experiences and exposures when it comes to careers, like, right. you, hey, you got uh, science programs, you got uh, computer programming and coding programs. You want to get that in, uh, science, technology, engineering, math, the arts. You want to get hey, playing uh, uh, instruments and things of that nature. You right. want to start getting those experiences, those exposures in because around middle school, all right, you're talking about like seventh, eighth, ninth grade. Well, ninth grade is high school now, but sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, Kids start making decisions and choice. Right. Hey, it ain't even choice. They start making decisions on, hey, this right here is the way to go. Right. All right. Parents, you can actually guide that. All right. And so I'm saying this when it comes down to high school, if you're just now, for instance, like me, in high school, hey, we went to a Bisley Magnet. So that's kind of what where my head was. I was like, football. And I was taking business courses. That naturally came easy because I had that experience in it. So that's how valuable your experiences and exposures are. That stuff becomes second nature. So if I could go back, bring you in on that one. Yeah. How different I would have loved for my parents to push me in, in that science, right? And in, in, in technology. You know that right there. Rolling in that, oh man, the future. That's what, that's what it is. And so, yeah. but us, um, I, I would love that. That right there, hey, you you get that experience, you get that exposure, you do summer programs, you get empowered that way, you get mentors, 
And all of a sudden, the track becomes a lot easier because the pathway is laid out. Right. You know, when you think about choosing a college, you think you can actually develop and have those individuals in place. Um, we got counselors, right? We got hey, uh, individuals that way. Uh, we have uh, college you know, recruiters that would be willing to talk to you as well. So, yes, I wish I would have known all that stuff. I ain't find it out, man. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, getting your real estate so, license or something versus the, college. Or and something the thing like is, that. why are we why are we saying this now? Why are we coming up with this? We want to be that uh, resource for students like junior high, high school to start thinking about this stuff early. We want to be that buffer that that resource that can come in. That's not a teacher, not a counselor, but somebody they can identify with that live in the community and trying to give them. Ideas, think and get their brain spinning on. Hey, you know, you need to be thinking about this now. The earlier you can think about it, the better off you will be as you become an adult. That's what you got to think about. Um, you hear people like, you know, hey, I lost my childhood because you know, uh, I had I was trained to do this, but then you don't think about like, you know, you think about like, uh, was it Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. Jackson Biden, uh, anybody you know, who was the instrument. they lost their childhood, but you never had to work a regular job in your life. You know what I'm saying? You was pretty much the biggest icon ever. Now I'm not saying I'm not going to denote, you know, downplay his situation, right. but when you look back on that, a lot of kids would never get that kind of opportunity. But every kid can have the opportunity to build their own success, and everybody can't be an entertainer. 